Hello my lovelies, Coley here and welcome to um, Kawaguchi-go. This is our last stop in Japan. We're here right now at Lake Kawaguchi and oh my god, this place is so amazing. It just sounds like nature. It's so calm. It's so quiet. Um, the view from our hotel is amazing. We get to have a huge view of Mount Fuji. It's covered by clouds this morning, but it's pretty incredible. I'll pop a picture up here for my Insta story that I posted this morning, but this place is amazing. So pretty. As per usual, the boys are way ahead of me and are now having to stop and wait for me. Because they're just too quick. I like to stroll. I like to take my time. You know what I mean? This place is so beautiful. Are we in New Zealand? Are we in Japan? Is that the Wanaka tree? Or does it just look like the Wanaka tree? We've come over towards like the other side of the lake. So there's the bridge kind of in the background here. Where is it? Over there. Um, and there's this little tiny island out there with a little hut on it, which is pretty cool. And we're just walking around. We stopped at a vending machine to get some water. And I just want to say that one thing that the Japanese do so much better, like they do basically everything better than everywhere else, but one of those things, flavored water. Like, do you guys remember when Nestle used to come out with that like flavored water bullshit and it like left the grossest aftertaste in your mouth and it like was not enjoyable? These actually are enjoyable. I'm obsessed. I just can't get over how like serene and beautiful this place is. Arigatou gozaimasu. Oh my gosh, guys. Lavender ice cream. Look at the view, too. Do you guys want to go sit over on the benches and eat them? Sure. Taste test time. I haven't tried it yet. That's so good. Oh. Lavender and anything is good. It's true. Lavender is so underrated i think in food yeah. like i feel like it's always like oh it's an essential oil or people want it in their bath stuff or they want it to like smell good but it's so good in tea in coffee in hot chocolate in ice cream i did that mm. so 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 good guys We've been trying our whole trip to figure out what these leaves are. And we figured out that they're Japanese maple leaves. But I mean, what do you guys think they look like? You tell me. We've kind of found this amazing little temple, which we're pretty sure is Buddhist. And there's this house right here and they have the prettiest little garden. I love it. This place is absolutely unbelievable. The carving is so amazing. It's very quiet. I feel like we're the only people here. Wow, that one looks so cool. Guys, we're back at our Airbnb, or not our Airbnb, sorry, our hotel, and you can just see Mount Fuji poking through. This is our room. We've got the floor beds put away so we can kind of sit, but look at this. It's still pretty much covered by cloud, but that's Mount Fuji, right? Air. A little bit later now. It is, what time is it, Jules? Um, 8.30. Um, you was like not hungry at all. So it's just Jules and I and we're headed out um, for a little bite of dinner. Getting kind of hungry. We found a restaurant on Google that has some pretty good reviews. So that's where we are headed. It is so dark at night here. Like there's barely any street lights. And it's so quiet, you feel like you have to whisper. 
We're here. lunch because it's like 11 um, and now and then we're gonna just like kind of explore today's our actual last full day in Japan we fly out tomorrow from Tokyo so a little bit bittersweet I had a feeling we were walking the wrong way already <laughs> always always but yeah today is our last full day in Japan so we're just gonna try and make the most of it I think we're gonna go up to a little like gondola that has this viewpoint that shows us all of Mount Fuji and then we're gonna go to this like really famous pagoda that everyone takes their pictures of it at sunset. Nice and vibes. This is why we came here. What are you talking about? These views. <laughs> After we get past this chip, you'll see it on the right. Boys are talking about cars. But look how beautiful it is. How good does this look? Ramen fried rice. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, guys, look how cute this mint green car is. <coughs> Goals. Is it just stopped here for no reason? Well, that's fun. There we go. Hmm, which one do I want? I haven't tried grape yet. Which one should I get? <laughs> grape, orange, or peach? The one on the far right. I think it's lemon grapefruit. I've tried orange and it's really good. I've tried peach. I haven't tried grape yet. Maybe I'll try grape. Uh, yeah, grape flavored water is just not my type. I'm, not, I'm never a fan of it. I feel like it always just tastes like. But I've never been a fan of flavored water, period. But I like the flavored water. Yeah, period. I mean, I can only speak from trying the Nest Tea ones that they made. In the That's States. what I'm saying. And it's just like Fuck it. I'll grab one. And I'll grab a peach one as a backup. Jules and I have quickly left a Ubro. And we are headed. We saw this place that sold some t-shirts and I want to get one for my brother's birthday. So that's what we're doing. Um, both my sisters and my brother all have birthdays within two weeks of one another, which is slightly convenient because then I can get all their birthday presents here in Japan but also inconvenient because it's always so expensive <laughs> um, and then Father's Day is like right afterwards as well so basically I'm just buying a million presents for everyone while here which is nice too because I feel like they appreciate it but yeah I like that one yeah I feel like that's the one large do you think that's the right size yeah. cool he's really similar to me I wish he, they had... You know, actually, he might even be a medium, but... That's triple XL. That's XL, double XL. What's 160? That makes no sense. Here, let's look at the medium. I feel like, though, also, he's been working out a lot recently, and I feel like he he's would. Getting bigger. So I, I feel, feel like, like he would feel good about us giving him a large because it would be like an ego boost. Yeah, no, I think the large. Is yeah, the way this to is go. the one. I think that's the one. Got the t-shirt. 
I think he's gonna like it. And now we're headed to the ropeway, which is like a little gondola thing that'll take us up to uh, see kind of like over Kawaguchigo and the lake and the mountain. And it looks pretty, so we're just walking there now. It's like a one and a half kilometer walk. We've just quickly stopped because we found a shop and I got everyone the last little bits of presents that I wanted to. I got um, some face masks, some mugs, some little like sake glasses that are shaped like Mount Fuji that are really pretty. I got my mom a pink one and my dad a blue one. Very stereotypical. <laughs> I got some green tea that smelt so good. You smelt it, right? I hope it's good. Um, and yeah, got everyone the last little bit of gifts. The only thing left is when I'm in the airport, I wanna buy three bottles of sake um, for like people. I probably should buy four. I feel bad if I buy everyone but Alyssa one, but I don't think Alyssa will like it. Then don't. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, but yeah, and now we're just kind of sat in the shade, finishing up some drinks, and then um, we're gonna go to the little thingy, majig. What's it called? Ropeway. <laughs> We're here. The gondola goes all the way up to the top of here. Say, Dad. Yeah. I think it's gonna be pretty. Yeah, me too. Hopefully, it's not too long of a wait. Yeah. Time to try the great water. It's really good. Is it? Yeah, you've got to try it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's better than I expected. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Mm. We're sandwiched in. Lots of people. Getting nice and cozy. We start at Kawaguchi Kohan Station, 856 meters above sea level, and we'll make our way up to Fushimidai Station. Walk in the sky! Don't get hit by a branch either. Anyone else kind of like low key terrified of gondolas? Because they terrify me. I know, I thought you were just gonna like bring it up. Oh, I also like it. So pretty. Oh, oh, there's the mountain. What mountain? What one? I don't know what you're talking about. That one? Which one? Huh? Guys. What are you talking about, Willis? What do you mean, brother? What do you mean, brother? <laughs> Wow. Wow. What do you guys think? It is a pretty epic view, I'm not gonna lie. Worth the $8? Totally. Do you think so? Yeah. You always gotta get that. I think so. That height advantage, man. Always gotta get that height advantage. I, I actually think this side is low-key prettier than that side. Even. I'm really digging the layers straight ahead. I'm really liking that. That'd be really pretty to paint. Well, I took a photo of it. Did you? Let me see. Oh, nice. Yeah, I could paint something like that. All done. That was so pretty. Probably like one of my favorite things we've done this whole trip, just for the views in themselves. Um, but for now, we're now on the line to go back down and go get some ice cream. <laughs> Soft serve ice cream. Oh yeah, yeah. That was a fail. We went up to the soft ice cream place and we even rang the doorbell so that someone could come serve us and there's just literally no one in that little shop. Super bizarre. Like all of the doors were open and you could look around but there's no one at the cashier or anything. 
very trusting. <laughs> okay guys, we came back a second time, and this time there was someone there. Jules got peach, I got grape. How is it, Jules? Peachy. Can I try? Mmm, <laughs> that's yummy. My turn with the grape. Roll. Yeah, this is really good, Jules. It's pretty good. Just saying. You know. Iimo is sitting farther down the hill because he's shorter and then his legs can touch, whereas Jules and I are up at the top of the hill. <laughs> We're gonna eat our ice cream with this as our view. Pretty magical. We came back to where we are staying and dropped Iyumu off basically because he is not feeling very well. He has like a head cold thing going on. Thankfully it's happening at the end of the trip but um, he's not really feeling coming tonight. So we are headed, just Jules and I, to go find this like famous pagoda thing that everyone takes pictures of Mount Fuji from and we're gonna go watch sunset there. More Thomas the Train themed things. Have you guys followed my Instagram stories of my trip here to Japan? You know what I'm referencing to. I think there must be some sort of like Thomas the Train theme park here. There is. At the, you looked it up the other night and you, know, you said, you said that there was a Thomas the Train theme park or something. Yeah, because there's just too much Thomas the Train themed stuff everywhere for there not to be. Oh yeah, our train is Thomas the Train themed. I don't know guys, I think this is what dreams are made of. Guys, I'm such an idiot. I We just went and hiked all the way up to the top where the pagoda is and came all the way down and I realized I didn't even film a fucking clip when I was up there. I just, well to be fair, it's a really steep set of stairs that take about 15 minutes to climb up. And as I'm sure you guys know, I'm an asthmatic gal. Loki had an asthma attack, thought I was gonna die. And I don't know if any of you guys also have asthma out there, but when I start to have an asthma attack, it makes me really anxious because I can't breathe, obviously. And that just like triggers anxiety. So I just like got up there and I was trying to sit and chill. I took some pictures though, so I will definitely insert them now. And that was the little pagoda. It was really great. Jules got some good pictures as well. And now we are just headed back to um, the train station and then we're gonna get some food some, somewhere in between there. Right, Jelly Bean? Correct. I can't believe I forgot to film. I feel such an idiot. Oh well. Guys, can you hear this right now? Wait, are those frogs? It's so loud. I don't know. Not gonna lie guys, I'm slightly disappointed in the fact that this train is not Thomas the Train Queen. The next station is the The doors on the left side are open. I hope he comes up to ask. We have to pay him, right? Don't overthink it. It'll be okay. I'm just worried. There's no one at the station that we can pay to buy our tickets so we just got off to the train with the fare. Guys, this tempura is amazing. I just wanted to say. Also, the shrimp is huge because I took half of it. In yeah, the first those setting. are the those are the small ones, I think. Jumbo shrimp. Do they have ones that are bigger than. It's like not oily. Over on the far table, there's this group. 
that has the plates of the mask, which I'm one, and I swear to God. Hold that up, hold that up to my hands. This big. No, mine was like that big. I don't know. Fine. Fine. You should eat the tail. <laughs> I'm not a shitty uh, ex-boyfriend that you had. I was not an ex-boyfriend, it was a Tinder date. Oh, t oh right, it was the short dude. Yeah, a guy who... Guys. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I did not do Tinder for very long, and I only went on two Tinder dates. One with a guy that I actually had already gone to high school with, and I actually kind of knew. That didn't end very well. And the other was this guy. And it was the worst date of my entire life. This kid shows up. I say kid, he was like, I think he was like 29. And I was 19 at the time. So he was 10 years older than me. But he shows up. And this guy is like 5'1", five, 5'2", five, maybe being generous. And I'm six feet, like I'm a tall girl. And I'm not, like I've dated guys that are shorter than me, but not that much shorter than me. Anyways, we go through this whole dinner and he, first off, I go to go order my food and he's like, no, you can't order that, that's not good enough, and like, ordered my food for me. Never do that, <laughs> holy, never do that. Two, we're eating our food and we had gotten these like shrimps and I'll never forget it. He was like, oh, you know, you can eat the tail. And I was like, yeah, I know. And then he was like, oh, you should eat it. And I was like, no, I don't want to eat the tail. He sat for 15 minutes berating me to the point where the only way I could get him to shut up was to eat the tail. It was so disgusting. I hate them. I do not, like, the texture is disgusting. I don't know why anyone eats it. But, yeah, and then at the end of the day, this freak, like, worst date ever has the nerve of A, making me pay for the date, which is fine. Like, I will pay for myself on a date, but don't make me pay for you too and like claim you lost your wallet and then try and kiss me at the end of the date. This guy went up on his tippy toes to try and kiss me. <laughs> like, after sitting there and pretending like he not letting me order the food that I want to order, making me pay for my food and his food, the food that I didn't want. And then, trying to kiss me. I didn't go for it. I told him to get fucked and left. <laughs> That's the story of my worst Tinder date ever. Thank God we didn't meet on Tinder. Tinder never works out. No, it just doesn't. It, it just really honestly doesn't work out. I think I had similar experiences. There's like, I think I went out on a date with like two people, maybe. It lasted like not even a month. Not even. I wouldn't even give it that. Yeah. My first Tinder date was this guy, and I was like, I'm never going on Tinder again. And then my second Tinder date, I ended up dating the guy for like a month. And then when he broke up with me, he told me he was expecting me to cry. <laughs> this is just the regular sized one. Oh my god. Good morning, everybody. Um, today is Saturday, and we are just about to leave Kawaguchiko to go back to Tokyo because we actually fly home today. Um, but our entire bus, like on the way here, is Thomas the Train themed. As you can see, which brings me probably more joy than it actually should, but I think it's hilarious. Yeah, I'm a little sad too, though I'm, I'm really ready to go home and like go on a diet. I, for the last like two months, have just completely thrown out all of my eating habits, <laughs> which is probably not good. Um, like my grandpa got really sick and then he passed away. And then um, we were here and I like love Japanese food, like 
ramen is my guilty pleasure even though it makes me really sick and I can just feel that I'm like so swollen I can see it in my face I can see it in my like tummy so I'm, I'm ready to go home and like eat properly again I kind of said to Jules and Yuma that I was just not going to care about anything that I ate